somebody got to do to get a drink of soda pop around here. Here, here, here. Blonde hair, blue eyes, that'll make you faint on sight But she looks like trouble Her lips so kissable and poisonous I know she won't be good for me Starlight, the innocent lifetime flickers and flashes under a canvas. No, nobody seems worth it while they're feeling sophisticated. The view is so restrained. The past is nearing closer and closer. I fear. So let's just cut the bullshit. They tell me who's independent. Thumbs a little in, and your life's escaping your mind. Keep in mind. Still 18, it seems to be. And I'll tell you who's overrated. What's a beautiful person with some hideous dreams? Well, the lining isn't silver. We're verging on the side of the road that'll take us home. The edge of us getting laid. Read about your life in your local paper. crumbling let it collapse into the abyss in the midst of summer it won't exist this emptiness it's just a blank slate waiting for a painter to interfere it's quite complex but what I know Hello everybody. How's it going? Welcome to this wonderful Thursday afternoon, a couple days before Halloween. I forgot to wear my costume. I'm going to be a cow. 
I don't even dress up, bro. Don't even dress up. <laughs> Come on, this is the best part of the year. Um, but uh, welcome back to the Game Show Show. I'm Lucas. I'm Bryce. And uh, we've got a lot of fun stuff to uh, go over today. We're going to be playing Counter Strike. Yep. Which I've only ever played a couple times, and I'm not very good at. I play it quite a bit. That's yeah, my I was game, just watching man. this guy play, and he's really good. Um, well, now I'm going to do terrible. Well, I'm just you know, setting you up to fail. <laughs> But then we're going to go over uh, 1.1. The beta is out right now. If you mm -hmm. haven't downloaded it yet, go out and download it. Um, it's got a whole bunch of new stuff. So we're going to be going over some of the stuff in that. And then we're also going to go deep on the uh, instant replay feature, yeah. which can be a lot of fun. Sometimes a little tricky, but uh, as long as you spend a little time with it, uh, you can really get it to do some cool stuff. Definitely. And uh, we'll show you exactly how to do that step by step. But I think the first thing we should do is play some Counter-Strike. Definitely. I've been watching this guy play and it's it's really quite incredible. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna switch over here to our awesome Counter-Strike little logo and... Yeah, so we're gonna do, uh, or I'm gonna do an arms race game, which is a little different than I usually do, but uh, it's a little bit more fast-paced, so it'll be good for this. Oh, did we talk about we're gonna be giving away a three-month subscription oh, that's right. later? I always forget yeah. about that. Let me fix this green screen here for a second. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna be giving away a uh, three-month subscription. We gave away one month last time, but we think it might be better to give three months away. Yeah. So you can really get in a roll, get uh, used to game show with the two months of free trial. That is altogether five months free. So almost a an entire half year of. Uh, Free, live, beautiful game streaming. But here we go. Oh, man. All right, starting here in a second. All right, so explain to me what's going on. You look like you're in the basement uh, of a house. Yeah, so uh, you... What's up, Cyborg 2? Thanks for following. Oh, oh yes. So, this guy's so good, he just went out and got killed. Yeah. I like that. So you start off on uh, opposite sides of the map. It's Terrace against Counter Terrace, and you just got to... It's kind of just whoever gets the most kills first. So you got that guy there. Yep, and I'm getting shot from across the map. This guy right up there on the Ooh. tower, you see him up there? I did There's not, two man. Of them. The fact that you can see that is pretty incredible. No, I'm <laughs> not. The uh, I played a lot of Call of Duty on Xbox, which is a lot of fun. But uh, that seems a little bit more, I don't know, beginner friendly, I guess. Loving the software. Lizard Joe, loving the software so far. Thanks, man. We, right do, we are too. Every time we use it, every time we come out with a new build and the beta's out, it just gets better and better. And uh, it's been a lot of fun for us. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like think maybe I can drop this uh, while... Now, how cool is this? While he's playing and you guys are watching, behind the scenes, I'm going to adjust this chat box because I think that it's not quite big enough. Uh, I'm cutting off the last thing there, so I'm going to take the crop. Drop it down a little bit. Ooh, I got nailed from behind. And then I'm going to take the frame and drop that down a little bit as well. There we go, that looks a little bit better, so I'll send that live. Watch this. Ooh, boom, just a little bit bigger. Now you can see the whole chat with the thing in the background. Did you just shoot that guy behind the trees? Yeah, he was over there. I missed a couple times, too. It was actually pretty, uh, oh, pretty that's, bad on my part there. That's violent, man. There's just, like, blood spatters all over the walls. <laughs> this gets a little brutal, huh? A little bit. Ooh, wow. Ooh, that guy was going to sneak up behind me and try to knife me. Yeah, you told me that's pretty, uh, that's pretty humiliating. You going to get that guy to knife me, dude? Oh, he's, he's trying me. to knife you. I know, I only got 18 health. He'd get me, too. 18. So where do you see the 18 health? On bottom left corner, right there. It says 18. Uh, 18. And then what's the 87 stand for? That's uh, armor. Do you guys, uh, anybody in the chat, do you guys play Counter-Strike? Because if you do, we were thinking maybe we could uh, join up and play a couple rounds together. Still working with trying to get it fine-tuned, but it is much easier than other software Ooh, that I've that. used. Yeah, look at what. Oh, you went 12 and 1 before you died? No, 12 and 6. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's the idea, is that, I mean, you should be able to, after just tweaking with it and understanding really what's going on behind the scenes, you should be able to just jump right in yeah. and uh, set this up. So, like, this, this template that we're using right now, here we've got another one I can show you. Um, if we send that live. That'll just show our most recent followers. So we have that set up. And you can notice that we're, we're right here in the middle of the screen and then our names are over there. Uh, and then we've got the recent followers following or covering up the dirty Counter-Strike chat, which nobody likes. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then if we were playing a different game, we would maybe split it up a little bit. We would move our camera around. But once we set up these templates beforehand, yeah. then we're good to go. Bob will take free skins. Can't can't say I know what that means. Grey Rocks wants one of those game show t-shirts. Am I the only one getting constant buffering from Polyphius Arcade? I'm not sure. 
Uh, I'm watching the stream here right next to me, and it looks pretty good on my side, so it could just yeah. be you. Uh, wow. This is so fast-paced. So it's many, very fast-paced. How many... So what, when does this game end? Uh, I think it's the first person that gets uh, to the last gun, right? So each round you go... Oop, that was crazy. Uh, <laughs> you get shot off the wall right Right. Um, so there's a specific amount of guns you have to go through, and you need, like, two kills per gun in order to get to the next one, right? And the oh. last person... Or the last round is uh, the golden knife, and you have to knife somebody to win. Wow, so that happens every time. Yep. How long does that take usually? Uh, these ones are pretty fast paced, usually like 10 minutes a round. Sometimes they're longer. I was uh, kind of choke on the shotguns. Uh oh. Shotgun is, I, I assume different guns are more difficult than others. Yeah, shotguns just don't have that range, you know? Yeah, you gotta get it. It's almost like, oh, did you get him? Nope. Oh, yes! Man. Yes! Uh, yes! Oh, somebody got me over there. <laughs> Just me then. Yeah, sorry about that, Polybius. It's a bummer. Uh, you are team leader right now. I know. But yeah, I said, does anyone anyone want to join in and play with us? Because we're ready. Well, I'm not. Hmm. I don't even think you guys want to see me play this. I'm going to pull the chat back up here. Oop, I missed him and he got me. With oh. an AK across the map. Yeah, you had him in your sights, too. Mm, I missed. Can I order a Game Show t-shirt from the Game Show website? We can't right now. Oh, we should totally be doing that. But I don't that. see why not. <laughs> My favorite part about the Game Show t-shirt is how it, it, uh, it has the same green as the green screen behind me. So if you look here... It's all see-through. <laughs> it's all see-through, yeah. So like you can see the snow moving behind me. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But yeah, the Game Show t-shirt on the back. I can't quite turn around fully right now, but it says some cool stuff on the back. So you can't buy them right now, but... Um, I think they're pretty sweet, and it would be nice to be able to uh, get some shirts out to people. So we'll, we'll have to we'll have to look into that, figure out a good way to get people T-shirts. I mean, at the very least, you can come see us when we're at trade shows. We were at uh, TwitchCon. That's where we launched Game Show. We gave out a lot of T-shirts. Like that day. hundreds of T-shirts. So they're out there, man. Check eBay. They're going for like four thousand bucks a piece. They're mm -hmm. rare, rare items. Oh, there oh, you yeah. go. Yeah, four thousand bucks a piece. <laughs> no, that's not the case. Uh oh. You reached a level out of... Okay, so 11 out of 16. And once you're at 16, that's the golden level. Oh, <laughs> I can't talk to you when you're getting I got intense. knifed. Oh, no. <laughs> you got knifed? Yep, look. Oh, humiliating. I Are know, you humiliated? Slightly. I lost a lot of respect you for you snuck right, right up on me. A lot of respect. Lizard Joe, thanks for following, man. Uh, we uh, Just in case uh, you didn't know, we're giving away a free subscription at the end of the today's broadcast, so... Stick around for a three-month subscription. We got uh, one person won last week. One person's going to win this week. And hopefully we'll be doing it every week. So, how'd that go? Uh, I got sniped from across the map, man. Dude, you got to get... <laughs> he headshot really, me I'm really disappointed everything. in you. I don't understand. I'm team leader. How you can't be that <laughs> disappointed. Does the map change ever? Oh, yeah. Every round is a new map. Oh, okay. Well, there's a voting system, actually. I'm Deverly Merch. Thank you for following. Oh, did you just get two people right there? Yep. And you, oh, you almost got that guy with the almost. pistol across the way. Oh, sorry if I'm yelling. I get too excited when I watch people <laughs> play video games. I, uh, so I'm, I'm a, I've probably told you this before, you guys might know as well. I, I play a lot of Magic the Gathering, the card game. And a lot of FIFA. And a lot of FIFA too, but Magic the Gathering is, right now, it's, that's my thing right now. It's a lot of fun. I'm not super good at it. But there's a guy who streams right now. He's in the middle of a 36-hour stream. That is crazy. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would die if I did that. I could not uh, do that. But then I was reading about it. Apparently, there's this guy who, who plays Melissa... Melissica04. Oh, Thank you for following. Um, what I've heard is that this guy, he does like 100-hour streams. That's insane. That's insane, man. That's, I, what, four days? Well, I mean, let's say 24 is one full day, so it's a little over four days. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Without without sleeping? Like, that's not... I couldn't do it. Then I went down a real deep rabbit hole, and I found that the uh, the record for staying awake is like 18 straight days. That is in a, crazy. In uh, a rocking chair competition. A rock... What? <laughs> yeah. A so rocking they, chair. You know how they have those stupid things, like, if you're the last one sitting in your rocket chair, rocking chair, you win, like, a diamond or something? Okay. No, I have not heard of that. <laughs> I guess I kind of made that up. But oh. <laughs> he spent 18 days... Rocking in a rocking chair without sleeping. That is uh, dedication. All right, team leader, when are you going to win this, man? I'm getting close. Get a 
Yes, 14 out of 16, two in a row! So I know it. Oh! Uh. I know in, um, in Counter-Strike, you can, uh, not Counter-Strike, this is Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, mm -hmm. if you get, like, a certain killing spree, everyone's going for the knife, and they're just shooting them. That doesn't seem fair. Well, that's <laughs> their deal. <laughs> uh, but if you get, like, on a killing spree, you can go, uh, 120-hour-plus streams. That's crazy. I don't, I don't know if I get that either, Baron Bishka. I think that's what you're talking about. It, how do you... How do you survive something like that? Oh, I got knifed. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you get knifed, you lose a level. Ooh, not, yeah, now I'm... Yeah, you're still team leader. Your team must not be very good if you're getting knifed and still leading your team. Dude, that guy's like it. Oh! I knifed him! Yes, <laughs> yes. That guy, that guy withstood like seven bullets to the face. Right? So well, I, I ran out. I was If I tried to reload, he would have got me. Ooh, nice. Sniped him from across the way. With a pistol. But yeah, 120 hours. What kind of machine are we using to encode? Uh, we've got a P... Uh, I can tell you about that one. Yeah. That is, is a AMD 8-core, um, the 9-something. It's the, it's the most expensive one they have. The most expensive one. How do you like that? <laughs> I think the CPUs for those are about... Uh, 280 or 240, somewhere around there, and then the motherboard was about another 200 on top of that. So that's the AMD. So what about, what about, like, uh, I'm sorry, I got distracted here. What about like a Intel processor? So if I was going to use an Intel, it'd be definitely be an i7, and it would probably be one of the new. I'd probably do one of the new Skylake ones, the 6700, I think it is. That would just, I mean. So right now we're doing uh, X264 encoding, plus we're recording this to our computer uh, in HD. So we're, we're streaming in HD and we're recording in HD right now. And I think our CPU is hovering around 74, 75%. You guys will see it in a second. We'll switch over mm -hmm. and show you how to do some of the, the replay stuff, which is really good yes. for a game like this because, oh, headshot, replay that real fast. Mm -hmm. um, but our recording is also, uh, it's at 8 Meg 8 megabit recording plus another 35. See, I got second place. I was on that. How did you get second place? You were winning the uh, whole time. I know, dude. Second Look place. at those numbers, man. <laughs> oh, I guess you almost died. You died more than anybody else, too. Nah, yeah, I did, didn't I? You died more than anyone yep. else, but you also got two less kills than Bob, who will take the free skins. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Well done. How's everyone doing it today? Very good, Jared S21. Doing great. Um, and then the longest I've ever streamed is 51 hours. That's crazy. Lizard Joe, that means you never slept for 51 hours. Is that what I'm understanding correctly? Like that's a real thing? Do you take a break or anything? <laughs> I get sick if I don't sleep for like 10 hours, man. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so you're taking a little break here? Yeah, let's take a little break. Let's do, uh... Maybe well, you can switch you to do... that one that when you die it breaks yeah, for a second. Yeah, so we, we can do some show more of the some, replay uh, stuff. Replay. Okay. So one of the coolest things in, in game show here, let me let me give you a, a little bit better view of what we're, what we're... Hello. Love being able to look at myself <laughs> and look at you and look at you guys. So one of the coolest things about game show that not a lot of people have uh, really understood is even there is a replay feature. And uh, so I'm going to take you through some of the steps, kind of see why you would use it, and then how to use it in a really functional way. So I'm going to pull up our screen here. There you go. So what you're seeing now, let me get rid of our edit window, which hopefully you guys know about the edit window where we have all our elements. Um, and then this is the live, that's what you guys are seeing. Mm -hmm. So now this is our preview window. So hopefully you guys should be able to see you know, the live window over there in the corner, and then all of our layers here on the bottom, and then smack dab in the middle is our uh, preview window. So mm -hmm. that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, but up here in the top is a replay button. So if I click that, I can either activate my uh, replay shot, I guess. Replay pointing. system there, yeah. Yeah, replay system, or I can go into the settings. So first I'm gonna pull up the settings, and uh, really quickly we'll go through this. So you have, actually why don't you go for All it, right. because you, you got the technical side down. So me. in here we got your video quality of your replays that it's gonna be recording. You can do standard or high. Um, I usually use standard for replays, because I mean it's just a replay. That, if you got the, uh, the fast enough SSD though for it, and the space, definitely high, high quality. Um, most of the time I don't capture audio for the replay. Um, it's kind of weird to have the audio replay during the replay over you if you want to kind of narrate it and just hear like everything you were just saying back again. Uh, so I usually leave that unchecked. 
Um, I usually leave the maximum duration somewhere around, uh, you want to change that to a minute? Yeah. 60 seconds or so. Um, I usually do that. That way it's not chewing up a ton of space on the hard drive. Uh, see right there it shows I mean, um, the estimated storage for 60 seconds right there is 13.7 gigs. So it does kind of chew through the space. Uh, so if you're on a laptop, it might, uh, you know, with a small SSD, you might not even yeah. have enough room. Absolutely. If you do like uh, five minutes or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, below that, there's the default duration. So what that does is that kind of sets your, your mark in point for your replay. So if you create your replay shot, it'll kind of have, you know, your end point and then a mark in point five seconds earlier. So five seconds isn't a very long time. So why don't we make that to about 15 seconds? Sounds good to me. All right. And then the next thing down is what you want to create your replay in. So you can choose whether you want it on the master layer one, uh, master layer two, or master layer three. Um, one is usually the best because it'll put it over the top of anything else. And that kind of goes back to the, uh, the layered, um, our layered scenes that yeah, talked OBS about last doesn't week. really do, you know? Yeah. And then, um, Let's see. Show yeah. preview, activate replay manually, and then delete recording. So that's that's essential. We've set this up so we have standard video quality. It's going to be limited to a 60 second replay, but the uh, duration that it'll queue up for us mm -hmm. is 15 seconds. But uh, it's pretty cool what's going to happen. So I'm going to close that. Show them the global hotkey for oh, replay yeah, configuration. True. Where is that? So that's under... file preferences. File preferences, here we are. All right, so we now have a uh, hotkey recording system. Before it was kind of, uh, you go through each one of the drop downs for your modifier keys, like Control, Alt, Shift. Um, and then the last one, you just enter the character you wanted, right? So now when we go in here, if you click in the mark in one, um, you just type in, up, yeah. you know, you just hold down Control, press eight or whatever you would like, and it just grabs it instead of having to do the drop down. So it's kind of neat, a little usability feature we kind of threw in there. So right now what we've got is that if I'm, when, when we're playing here, uh, if I'm inside of Game Show and I press Control-8, it's going to set an input, in point, and then when I press Control-9, it'll create that shot, bring it in, and then I can press it live. And the great thing about the global hotkeys is, is that'll work if you're in-game, too. So if you have uh, you know, the same computer as your gaming and your streaming machine and you're doing PC gaming, you, you can have you know, a second monitor showing Game Show, and then you can just do the control E to create to re replay um, or the mark in point and then control R to create your, your replays. Um, then, you know, if you had a little break real quick, you could switch over and tell them to go live and watch all your replays as different shots. It's pretty cool. Awesome. So let's close this and let's do it really fast. But before you start gaming, let's just go over a quick uh, tutorial here. So I, I'm going to come over to replay and press activate. That's not going to take a shot. That's just going to allow me to start using it. So you can see down here, I got two more areas. So this is the uh, create replay shot button. So when I press that, it's just going to make a replay shot. This here, though, is going to tell you, like if I press control 8, you see that a number pops up mm -hmm. right there. And that's kind of a mark in for that exact moment you want that replay to start at. So uh, if you see something coming up where you know you're going to want to start a replay for it, you can hit that mark in just ahead of time. And so now if I press control nine, you can see that everything just kind of went crazy. So what you're seeing over here is uh, what I could do is if I send this live, you're going to see a quick replay. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard to see, but this is the idea. So you can see like there's all sorts of stuff going on there, but that's not us. That's us 15 minutes, 15 seconds ago. And when it's done, it's just going to switch right back to what I had beforehand. Yep. And so there we are. Hello. Um, uh, let's go back to the screen capture, send that live, and now we're going to get in game and show you how this works when we're actually playing. All right. Uh, and then we can get real deep because you can, you know, crop it, you can make it slow-mo. Streamers is now following. Thanks for the follow. Thank you, streamers. Welcome. Uh, if you just showed up, just to let you know, we're giving away three free months of game show mm -hmm. live action streaming at the end of the stream, so stick around. Um... But let's see, we're going to Dust 2 Casual. Ooh, this is like the most popular map that everybody plays on. All right, all right. Is that because it's... I don't know, everybody just likes this one. I think there's better maps, but this is the one everybody likes. Potentially just well-designed, something like that. Yeah, it's actually a carryover from uh, Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike Source. Cool. So we're going to do a couple demonstrations here. First, I'm going to let you guys see what, what it looks like in here. Um, so you can see we got the preview window. He's playing. 
Binary Wolf is now following. Hello, Binary Wolf. Welcome to the stream. We're going over, uh, well, I guess following doesn't mean you just showed up, but just in case you did, we're going over thanks how to use follow. replay. So thanks for the follow. So I'm over here, Bryce is going, and I'm, and I'm queuing up, and I missed that completely. Good thing we didn't replay that, because you just died. <laughs> I know, right? Um, Uh-oh, now we have to wait for a while. Oh, no, because no? this is warm-up round. Okay. Mm. All right, so let's see if we can see if we can get together and make this happen. All right, is this good? Uh, not, oh, here we go. Go for it. Oh, All right, so I've now started. Oh, replay and he died playing. immediately. But now I finished that replay. Oh, I just realized that now you're going to see just the replay of, uh, of the whole section there. So there's only two seconds. Let's get a better way of showing this. So I'm going to send this live. And now I'm going to work on this replay shot. So. I keep I keep setting up a replay, and then he dies immediately. Come on, man. Let's it's a warm up round. Test your metal here. All right. Let's get some let's get some good action shots. So now I'm playing. So I just set the key in. All right. Let's get a. Now the match is starting. Now we're yeah. really gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. Now we're ready to go. Hang on to your britches. It's Bumbleard coming at you. Bumbleard is the name of his cat. Yeah. Very good cat name, by it's the way. It's a sweet name. Is he fat? Actually, he is fat. I mean, he's got to be if his he name is Bumblebee. He didn't used to be, though. Yeah. Well, you got to start feeding him a balanced, nutritious diet. Frosted <laughs> flakes, and orange up. juice in the morning. You know? They're great. <laughs> All right. So I set the key in, or the point in, and now he's in there. Did you get a kill? Oh, oh, I got it. Go again, go again. And then, oh, and then you die. So, boom. Now, you guys are seeing us, but what's going on now is I can come in here and I can find, like, ooh, I want it to start right when... Ooh, that's going to look good. And then I can make it slow motion. Let's do that. Do it. So All right, I'm going to send it live. So, you can see that we're in there, but I'm talking now, so you should be able to hear me. But we got the slow... Ooh, that was an explosion of blood. <laughs> And then this guy's gonna get me. Yeah, you shot him a couple times. Though, I was didn't you? yeah, I had to reload for a second there. Uh, oh, done for. All right, so there you go. We just created a replay shot. Yeah. And uh, let's let's clear that. Let's send this live, so we're good to go. Oh, that's a really nice picture we're looking at. <laughs> um, so as easy as uh, <laughs> like if 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 Bryce was playing and doing the replay himself, it would take a little bit of of. I guess what you call it, just a little bit of practice to, yeah. to be able to hit control eight, control nine. Uh, but after doing it some time, it gets to be a lot easier, especially if you're not playing uh, a game that is so like two-handed intense. If I was yeah. playing uh, like FIFA, man, I could do that in FIFA because you know you shoot, you know, you're like, oh, I'm about to shoot, get that <laughs> in there, start it, replay, send it live. And after a little bit of practice, you can start doing this really quite easily. Uh, how did he not die? <laughs> Binary Wolf says that I've watched all the shows. Thanks for them. Enjoy the software. Glad you're enjoying it. Binary yeah, Wolf, if you, you tried 1-1, uh, one, one, the beta, it just came out a couple days ago. Hopefully it's, it's doing what it needs. I definitely like a lot of the widget enhancement we put in there. They're great. You got all the scrolling and stuff in there, and it's really nice. You guys can see here, oops, <laughs> right there. We got our scrolling uh, recent <laughs> follow. So anytime anyone follows, it jumps in there, auto populates, and it's scrolling up and down at the moment, which is really functional. How do I get the beta? Um, you can go right onto our forums. If you scroll down towards the bottom, there's a whole uh, uh, beta section. You can click there. We'll announce our future betas there as well. And uh, there should be a download link right there at the top. Uh oh, Baron Bishka. <laughs> Too many caps. I think it needs voice for commands. Activate replay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be super cool. Come on, guys. Let's implement the uh, voice commands. Voice commands. We'll get Siri to do it. Siri, man. No. I was talking to Siri earlier. Yeah, you told her to shut off your phone, and she said, I can't do yeah, that. Yeah, she can't even turn off my phone for me. What's the point of having a, you know artificial intelligence that can't do the most basic part? <laughs> Shake it, baby. Stop posting links. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we can't have uh, links posted. Whoa. I got it. Flashed. Flashbang, but you're I still alive. Some, I know, I got somebody too. <laughs> He's just random shooting. Look how like extremely violent that scene is right there. Wow. I gotta say, magic in FIFA is way less violent than this. You don't leave like trails of destruction behind you. <laughs> Fast paced. 
Uh, how do I get the beta one one? Yeah, so there you go in the forums. Uh, maybe I should go in and after this I'll I'll make it. Uh, allowing links can get a little sketchy. Do we have a link to the beta on Twitter? Um, I could send it out, yeah. And we do, yeah. I posted yesterday on Twitter uh, that you can go get the link there. So if you follow us on Twitter, not only will it give you updates about when we're going live with the show, but that's where you'll hear about news, whether we're releasing a new beta or a new patch that's coming out or whether the, the newest version is coming out as well. What does A and B mean? I see that all over the place. Oh, so the A is uh, bomb site A and B is bomb site B. Oh, see that flashing thing is our bomb we dropped the C4. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, like, that, that's great. That's great. I, mean, I still don't understand. What's, what's in bomb site A and bomb site so, B? So, uh, when you're on the terrorist team, you got to go plant the bomb in either bomb site A or B, and then the counter terrorist got to defend it. Okay, seems pretty formulaic. Yeah. <laughs> I do it so hot. Look at that, three and four. Oh my god, you're in third place on your team? Yeah, fourth place. Poor. Yeah. You're doing poor, Bumble Art. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at our CPU's getting up there, but we're still recording. We're recording it's for that replay. 30. Oh, that's, re that's true. I'm going to actually uh, deactivate replay. We'll try another one a little bit later. Turn that off. That'll bump the CPU's. Yeah, so if you guys are running into CPU issues, which can happen, especially if you're using a. Uh, like an X264 encoder. Um, some of the ways of lowering your CPU issues, like right there, I turned off uh, turned off the replay. And we weren't even using it, it was just activated and ready for it us, which means recording. it's constantly recording that last minute that we set up to have it record. And uh, it was boosting our CPU usage, like almost 20%. Um, so if I just turn it off now, now we're, I mean, when you stop having yeah. a lot of motion, it almost drops mm -hmm. down below 50%. So. But when you think about it, that was actually three simultaneous recordings, right? So we're in code because we're streaming. Wow, that's true. And then true, we're yeah. also doing a recording to disk at 8 megabits. And then we're also doing a replay at standard quality. Wow. On an AMD. <laughs> that's pretty incredible. That is actually really cool. So we were, yeah, we were doing three shows at once, and it was still keeping us below 100% CPU. Which is pretty exciting. What are you waiting for here? Are you not playing? No, I died. <laughs> Binary wolf. But I'll check it out as we... Has there been any optimization with bringing in PC footage? Right now I just have to capture the screen. And CPU issues, issues are killer. Only when streaming PC game gameplay. Yeah, console is no problem. But, yeah, the console is a lot easier because you're bringing it in from an outside source. You're mm -hmm. not dedicating any of your resources on the CPU itself to running that game. So it's really easy to keep your CPU down. Um, but, yeah, if you, were, if you were running... So right now we are running uh, Counter-Strike on a laptop coming in through a capture card. So essentially it's like we're doing a, a console. Uh, console yeah. Yeah. But if we had that running... And the replay going, and the recording, and the streaming all in HD. That's it, just too much. It could get pretty taxing. So you need to get yourself a beef on computer to do something like that. Well, most streamers do when they want to do a, a lot of stuff like that is they'll actually have a dedicated computer for gaming, and then they'll run the HDMI out of that into a capture card in a dedicated stream machine. Yeah. And that also allows them to, you know, kind of. Uh, maintain all their your Twitch stuff with a separate keyboard and mouse, not having to alt tab in and out. And, is this plugged in right now? Uh, yeah, but it's not actually running as a source. Little uh, Logitech webcam down here, just sitting here. Yeah, I was actually going to show you guys what it looks like over here. We've got this. Let's see if I can get it. We've got this little uh, Logitech camera. So while he's playing, I'm going to see if I can set up a shot and show you what it looks like where we're sitting right here, just to give you an idea of kind of the setup and how we managed to have a full setup with different computers, the Twitch stream, the chat, and uh, just try and get everything all situated. Um, yeah, not going to allow links. Thanks, Polybius. Um, it can get a little sketchy. Uh, what's my CPU usage right now from Lamorack? Right now it is 72%. I can show you. Check this out. Let me delete this shot. Send this live. So you can see that uh, up here in the top corner, CPU is 61, 55, 56. It's actually going low right now. And uh, we're streaming 50, 60 frames per second at uh, almost 12,000 kbps. So it should look good on your side based on what we're seeing here. Oh, I'm going to send this back live. But uh, I'm going to try and set up a new shot here so you guys can see what we're doing. So I'm going to go system device, Logitech HD Pro webcam. Give me a good look at what we're doing. 
And yeah, look at that. I, I managed to sneak over here. Scan fit. Let's turn off any volume. All right, guys. This is gonna be this is gonna be pretty fun. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa! So here we are. We've got uh, we've got a big wall behind us, and then just a green screen that's sat on our chairs. We're working on getting a, a full full screen green screen, which is gonna be really helpful. But uh, then we have the Counter Strike machine right here. So that's what he's playing on, and you can see it's coming in. This is the main console that we're using to show game show. Over here I have the chat, and I got my laptop over here, and that's showing our stream and then some of the chat as well. We've got our camera looking at us right there. There's our sound studio over there. And a projector showing and a projector the uh, HDMI out. Showing the HDMI out, so if we wanted to, we could watch the game over there. And then uh, that's the rest of the place where we work. We've got our microphone up here next to the truss with all the lights on it. So we got a pretty sweet setup. Uh, it's a lot of fun to be in here. But uh, So there you go, a little behind the scenes action. <laughs> but we're gonna show you what's really going on here. Uh, let's send that live. There we go. All right, so that's a, a little tour <laughs> around, around the shop here. Lamarack says you can see the beard even better now. Uh, heard you guys have an iOS streaming app. Can I use that? We're actually uh, an iOS streaming app. So we have the ability to stream iOS devices in their games on an iOS device through Game Show too. Um, and then we're actually we, going to do that next week. Right? Yeah, that's our. That's what yeah. we're doing next. We're going to. So we're going to play. Uh, we're going to get an iPad in here, and we're going to switch from this AMD machine, and we're going to switch to just a Mac Pro, one of those uh, trash can looking things. Yeah. And we're going to run the same setup, but it's going to be on a Mac. And then we're going to bring the iPad game in and then broadcast that as well, because yep. it's super simple to do. Anyone in the chat use uh, Mac to stream? I know it's not near, but it definitely works, as long as you can get the games on there. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Hearthstone on there. And then you were actually telling me, were you able to get that to happen with like the, the multiple layers of different operating systems? Oh, yeah. So I ran uh, it in uh, the... I ran mac in a virtual machine on a pc and was able to uh, run the ios device captured in there and then display that out that seems very necessary yeah, yeah i like that uh, my <laughs> cpu is through the roof i way. can imagine yeah you're, you're running not only are you doing what we're doing here but then you're running another operating system on top of it as well that can get really uh we got one person on a mac which is really nice Cool so, setup. Thanks, Cyborg. Yeah, it's pretty sweet in here. Yeah, a lot of people that uh, use Macs are mostly the console gamers. A lot of people just use those with a capture card and mm -hmm. then go through and then broadcast that way. Yeah, that. I mean, that's probably what I would do. I'm a big Mac fan. So what happened? Did you win? No, dude. Our team was zero and eight. That's oh, terrible. Oh wow. I was actually just. Uh, I was on Twitch before we got here. Right now, actually, let's see if I can go check that out. If you guys go to the front page of Twitch. They've got uh, they've got a big Counter Strike. It's a Counter Strike specific. Yeah. Well, it looks we'll like the right Hearthstone is going a as well. Yeah, we. Um, earlier, the amount of people watching Counter Strike on Twitch was like eight hundred thousand, which that uh, just blows my mind. Well, right now, it's nine hundred thousand. No, I think I saw five hundred. Wow. Yeah, so DreamHack is going on right now. Where is that located? Do you know? I don't. Overseas somewhere. Yeah. So they've got uh, a big tournament going on, and, and it looks like. It's Bit, but at one point, eight hundred thousand people watching people play video games. Man, this is a this is an awesome, awesome. I guess what you call community, the game streaming community, is blowing up. Man. What's your uh, What's your favorite game to watch? My favorite game to watch is Counter Strike. I guess that would make sense, seeing as you're so damn good at it. Yeah, mine is. I mean, the problem with I like playing Magic. It's just a very slow game, so it's not nearly as intense all the time. You know, like this. I'm just constantly killing people. Nice, did you get that guy? No, see, I got an assist because somebody came up and shot Stole it from there. Yeah. Warm up, so this just is just like, you know, limber up your fingers before you go out and start really yeah. murdering people. And this is uh, this is a casual round. I mean, the competitive rounds last up to an hour and a half round. Well, I mean, you probably have like dudes that, that work together on a team, they have tactics and Yeah, like, you bases use your mics and, and talk about everything. Wow. It's like real war. You just get to respawn when you get shot. Right? <laughs> it's intense. 
Is this the same thing where you have to like continually uh, improve your guns and then win? No, no. This is one where you actually pick what you want to buy with the amount of money you earned from before. Oh, that's pretty cool. DreamHack is in Sweden. All right. Oh, that's what you kept saying. Isn't that, that Romania? I, pronounce. I know there's a soccer team in Romania, and that's the name of the soccer team. <laughs> but I could be wrong about that. Uh, but DreamHack is in Sweden. Using the iPad app is a little bit chuggy. Switching to PC to compare. Do you guys plan on doing gaming events in the future to promote game show? I mean, I don't see why not. Definitely sounds like something that would be fun to do. Yeah, man. I mean, it would be awesome just to get somebody right now to come play with us if anyone wants to play Counter-Strike. You mm -hmm. can just add Bumbelard. B-U-M-B-A-L-A-R-D. Friend on Steam, and we can hook I'll you up and we can get yeah. you in here. Um, because Bumbelard just killed Federico Jr. and then Kawaii Killer. He's good, man. Take him on. But yeah, it'd be it'd be cool to do something like that. I think what we want to do first is just uh, get this dialed in. I mean, we I mean, this is what our third show. Yeah, third. We're still working out the kinks, trying to figure out the best setup for us, the best setup for you guys, what you guys want to hear, what we can offer you, and then as that gets you know as that kind of picks up and we can and we can provide new content for you guys, it would be nice to start branching out and doing something like that. Definitely. And we're open to suggestions. If you guys got some yeah. suggestions for the show, uh, post on the forums. Let us know. Coolmaster21, what's up? How's it going, man? Thanks That's for watching. That's probably the coolest name I've heard all cool day on master. Twitch. The Master of Cool. Mm -hmm. I think by default that's the coolest name I've heard on Twitch. It's the Master of Cool, right? Clearly. Ooh. Yeah, when you say gaming events, you mean like you want to, how do you want to do a gaming event? Like, do you want to... Do you want to join in online and play with us? Do you want us to host like a tournament? That might be kind of hard. Yeah, that would only really work locally, you know. Yeah. Unless you guys tough. want to fly out here and hang out. Ooh. That would be that'd be intense. <laughs> I'm not sure we could fit that many people in the room. Uh, it's it's the we can uh, we can do it over here. <laughs> cool master. In brain matter gray. Oh. Stop cool posting links, posting cool master. Man. You can't post links, man. It's, it's outlawed by the Twitch rules of life, <laughs> and also by our Nightbot who is moderating the chat. Um, but what were you gonna? What were you trying to post there? Maybe where you got your super awesome name? Mine. <laughs> Yours is cool too, Bumbleard. I mean, I would love to meet Bumbleard. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Do I don't? It is International I mean, Cat Day today. Did you know that? You're kidding. It's me. International Cat Day today. I just found that out. I well, got that's little, really cool, uh, but what what does that mean? Well, you said you wanted to meet my cat. We should have a, uh, you know, bring your cat to work day. No. <laughs> no. I think that's a brilliant idea, man. I have yeah. two cats. I'll bring both of them, Milo and Wally. Milo and Wally? Yeah, Milo's the, the relaxing one, and Wally's the murderer. Oh. Yeah. That little hunter? Oh, yeah. attacks you. No, no, no. He's very nice to me, but not to rats. Oh. Wanted to post the link to your forum. Yeah, we, we've outlawed links just because it can get a little sketchy. Uh, but yeah, that will get us the forum. If you guys haven't been to the forum, go check it out. That's where uh, I know you spend a lot of time on the forum. Yep. You can ask any sort of questions, and we'll jump in and try and help the best we can. Yeah, we got I'm some on. of our engineers on there as well. Um, a lot cool. of QA staff, a cool, lot of cool, other cool. people too. It's a great place if you to go if you're having any questions or any difficulties with anything. Dude, you're you're amazing at this game. You're just like talking about game show and killing people. No problem. Ray Rocks, you want to dance? Just stop posting links. Wow, Nightbot is sassy. <laughs> Nightbot is sassy. <laughs> I can't, you guys, I can't stress this enough. If you post a link, it's going to get deleted immediately. You can't post <laughs> links. Stop doing it. So, what I'll do is when they have subscribers, let subscribers post links. Ooh. Yeah, subscribers cool. are allowed. We can't quite get subscribers. But you know what we can do? Uh, because what I've noticed here and in the past couple episodes is that people keep trying to post links to maybe uh, our support page or the forum or even just gameshow.net. So what I can do is after this, I'll make sure at the bottom of the player there. Right now you can see it's just links to uh, the free trial. That's the front page. But I can put another link in there that will bring you straight to the forum. So we don't have to post as many links. And uh, it will be really helpful. Yeah, they gave solid updates on the Elgato HD compatibility. 
Yeah, that was an interesting thing. I mean, uh, Elgato just put out the 64-bit drivers about, what was it, three days before TwitchCon? And, uh, you know, we're a 64-bit only application. Uh, most computers are 64-bit these days. So uh, we just did 64-bit only. So until they released 64-bit drivers, we just couldn't include it. Yeah, and for those of you who are on a Mac, a bit of confusion with Elgato compatibility with a Mac. And, yeah. and I've been trying to understand exactly why it doesn't work. And it does work, but it doesn't work at the same time. So if you want to explain that, it'd be better than me. Yeah, so Elgato does not provide... you see that fire there? Yeah, that was awesome, man. Where did that come from? Uh, so they have Molotov cocktails going yeah. All right, all right. Back to so, Elgato. So Elgato does not provide uh, core driver support in Apple. So what that means is other applications cannot access the hardware. You know, third-party ones just can't do it. Um, so you can only do it with the Elgato um, hardware, or actual software itself. Um, so what people who have been using OBS have been doing in the past, and what you have to do on Mac with uh, Game Show as well, is uh, they'll do a screen region capture of um, the actual Elgato Game Capture HD program, and then they'll just bring that in um, as a source into a Game Show or... Cool. So it works pretty well. The only downside is that if something pops up in front of it, you know, it'll that'll show up in your in your capture. Oh, so it's like just a very basic screen recording. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing. It doesn't it doesn't distinguish between the layers. It's just capturing that that part of the yeah. screen. And then if you roll your mouse over it, it's going to get that. If you Correct. pull up another window, it'll take over as well. Yeah, and that's a limitation within Mac. Um, see, on on Windows, you can yeah, Windows, you can uh, you can do an EXE capture. And that won't grab stuff that pops up in front of it. And, and then, so is that... It's like a window capture. Oh, but you don't need to do that because we have Elgato that works on the PC. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. There's a constant struggle between me and Bryce. Mac, PC. He just doesn't understand. But I think in reality, I'm the one who doesn't get it. So <laughs> it's just very user-friendly in that. Hey, the first step to... So what Maybe you should watch what you're doing. I know. Okay. I'm not you just get you just got killed trying to trying to be snarky to me. It was worth <laughs> it. Wow. So we got guys festive waffles. Festive waffles and salty raccoon. Mm, Some I interesting names, huh? I think I'd rather eat festive waffles than a salty <laughs> raccoon. It sounds a little bit tastier to me. Yeah. But I, I I can understand wanting both. All right. Should we do? A, see if we can get better at this. Uh, Replay. Are you about to start playing again? Oh, uh, yeah, almost. And then uh, I gotta wait for this round to end, and then we'll go. How long does that usually take? Uh, it can. It'll be about 45 seconds or sooner. Nice. So I'm gonna activate replay. Cue it up. Get it ready to go. All right, guys. This is a test of my my trigger skills to <laughs> to kind of read the game, see when the right moment to make this uh, this replay start. So hopefully we can start. Who's this guy? Is that on your team? Yes. He's pretty smooth. Yep, yep, how come yep. his how come his right he's like dressed his rifle is neon <laughs> colored. So one of the things with like CSGO is you can buy all these crazy um, uh, skins for your gun. You know, <laughs> people do it all the time. People spend a lot of money on it. Really? Yeah, I don't. Is it function the same way, just looks different? Yeah. Uh, some of them have this thing called a stat track which will keep and stuff, or I just like playing the game. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're doing it. Oh, press mark in. Mark in happens. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did you get it? No. All right, I smoked it out. In the clear. I'm gonna get ready again. Ooh. Run faster with the map. <laughs> Go ahead, mark in. Mark in. Oh, oh no, man! I got him seventy-four damage uh, in three hits. That's a bummer. You need to get a hundred, I assume. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and just hit the replay button anyway. Watch it. So I hit it. Now you can go there, and then you can change. You can. Actually, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys this really fast. Um, let's go like this. Yeah. Send that live. All right. So, um, what you're seeing here 
is a replay. You can see that the, us in that picture there, you can't see us moving. That's because we're looking at a replay. And there's this little screen here at the bottom, timeline, and it allows me to adjust where it is. So I can press play, and you'll see that it starts playing here. And this is where I, I set it up. And then he goes down, and he's about to die right here. But let's say that I only want to show, it still goes for a couple more minutes here. But I don't want to show the rest of that. So what I can do is I can come here, grab this little guy. Let's make this bigger so you can see it. Close this. There we go. So I can grab this little guy, and that'll allow me to trim. All the while, Bryce is still playing this game next mm -hmm. to me. So we can just go to the end of that kill, and then go up to that kill, that death. We can just start it right there. Let's say we just want it to go. That's going to be a four-second clip. Then I can make it half speed, so I know that'll last eight seconds. So watch, I'm just going to send this live. I click this button. And go ahead and click something. There you go. So uh, now I just got the slow motion yeah. replay. And now we are back here. Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was, uh, unfortunately, Bryce is not very good at this game. Nope, terrible. But uh, yeah. if he had killed that person, that would have been a sweet replay. So. Well, what's, what's even better is I'm glad you guys weren't watching because I said again right now. <laughs> I told you he's really good at this game. <laughs> well, the better it's it's good though that I'm not actually playing because this is not not something I would be good at at all. I mean, yeah, my skills lie in different places. You know, I just recently got a uh, Nintendo 64. Yeah. Dude, that is where it's at. Do you guys still play N64? Nintendo. Like that was my first gaming console. My parents. I played Nintendo and Super Nintendo, but my parents would never let me get that. But my first one ever was Nintendo 64. Wave Race? Ooh, I remember that. Dude, doing the backflips. Yeah. I, I never even did the race, I just did the freestyle with the dolphin that, that took you places. I played the Mario 64. Man. Dude, 120 stars Mario 64? Oh, yeah. That took me till college. I had to have a buddy help me out with that one. <laughs> um, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of oh, Time. I had to play that one. Dude, I, I play those I songs know. on the piano. <laughs> and they had uh, Majora's Mask, that was pretty good. Yeah, that one was a little too complicated. I, it was a little weird, having yeah, to reset time every exactly, time. Exactly, yeah, I, I didn't get into it as much, but I loved it. And uh, then, of course, the best first-person shooter of all time. Gold Knight. No, no, there's no, no way you can uh, uh, no. react to that. I mean, this this doesn't even hold a candle to Gold Knight. Uh, no, I'm, I'd rather NES play this NES and now. SNES. Jared S, you still have those? You play those places? Duck Hunt? You know the dual cartridge, Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers? I guess it wasn't Super Mario Brothers. Oh. It was just Mario Brothers. Goldeneye was amazing. Yeah, it was. Yes, Goldeneye was so really good. Oh, there was, there was a lot of tricks, like multiplayer, man. Because it, it was like the first four-person multiplayer, yeah. first-person shooter, and that was just... <laughs> I thought I said white rice. White rice. What did I say? <laughs> because of the buffer, I thought you said white rice. I'm um, sorry you're still getting a buffer there, Polybius Arcade. Uh, that's kind of frustrating. Yeah. But yeah, white rice. No, wasn't talking about food. Talking about video games. But there, it, going back to first person shooter, man. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It, uh, there were people, like, you could never be Odd Job because that was cheating. Because Odd Job was like half the size of all the other characters. So you oh, would what? shoot at everyone and hit them in the chest, but it would go over his head. Uh, so you couldn't be Odd Job, and then Jaws was pretty. Jaws is that the guy's name? I don't know. I never remember. played it, dude. And you think this is a good game, dude? I played Quake on on uh, Super Nin or Nintendo 64. You know, we had to get the little expansion pack thing for it. You know, the little red uh, memory yep. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Spent days of my life playing Goldeneye. Yeah, dude. Me too. My college man. I played. Oh, <laughs> Mario Kart 2. Oh. Back to me. Mario Kart, GoldenEye, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario, mm -hmm. Wave Race, Diddy Kong Racing was pretty cool too, but not as good as Mario Kart. And, uh. And you know, then, I mean, you know me, FIFA. You know what's a game on uh, Super Nintendo a lot of people haven't played? <laughs> Bryce equals White Rice. Alright. I see where you're coming from now. <laughs> uh, remember Man with the Golden Gun mode? Yeah, dude, I didn't really like that so much because. It was just like, I know I kind of liked the fact, I, I got really good at uh, using like the C buttons to strafe back and forth, and people would really shoot that gun and they would kill me, and I was like, dude, you guys aren't even that good, and you just kill me because of the man with the golden gun, you only have to hit one time. Uh, but, but yeah, my I liked, uh, 
I think power weapons it was called. If you if you're if you're on the same level as me, I think you know what nope, I'm talking about when I say power. Weapons. It was just a certain subset of the weapons in the game that you had access to during okay. the multiplayer mode. Um, Days of Final Fantasy III on SNES. Ooh, that's a See, good one. I never played those. But you know what RPG I did play on SNES was Super Mario RPG. I've heard about that. Not a lot of people have heard of it. Yeah. Uh, what, wasn't it called Paper Mario, or was that no, different? No, that's totally different. Totally okay. different. This one Super was just Mario like an RPG, RPG, but, you know. And it was, like, set in the same kind of style as the older ones. It was kind of like this, like, this angle from up above a little bit, no, and you, like, walked it, around. it was a bit more, it was a bit, oh, yeah, it was kind of like that. It was, it was more like up and, yeah, like an RPG. It wasn't, like, side-scrolling or anything. Mario RPG was the bomb. Yeah, I never yeah. got to play that. That sounds like a lot of fun. It was fun. Oh, Mario Party was pretty cool, did you ever play that? I did. That was uh, N64, right? Yep. That was. Yeah, that was the, I just remember Mario or uh, the N64 being the first time where I realized that video games was not like a solitary experience. Yeah. You know, when you start having four people play the same video game, I mean, of of course now we have like you know you've got almost a million people watching people play Counter Strike, so clearly yeah. it's not a solitary experience anymore. But back in the day, it was. Like, maybe you played two-player Super Mario Brothers, you know, and one of you died. <laughs> the and the next other one, taking you know, turns, you know, yeah. taking turns. Maybe there was a couple one-on-one -on -one sports games, but in reality, it was pretty, you know, in in inside time, by yourself kind of. Once you got four controllers on there and four people playing, it oh, got yeah. so exciting. Anyone have a Dreamcast? I've played a lot of Dreamcast. Actually, my brother-in-law has a Dreamcast right now, and... Uh, we got a dream, Dreamcast in the other building. No way. Yeah, we could play Dreamcast? We, we could. Oh. oh. <laughs> We're going to have... Here, we could play all these games. We could play GoldenEye. Yeah, we have the, the capture card for uh, the old school... Uh, oh, man, yes. Oh. GoldenEye coming your way yeah. in the coming weeks. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that would be... Oh. Yeah, dude, dude, we could play all of these I games. I got an old school Sega Genesis at home, too. We could play all right, guys. Dreamcast. This is gonna have like retro mode. Oh, I'm so into that. I mean, that's. I haven't played a lot of video games in the past couple of years just because I, I, I've been moving around and moving to new places and having a new house. And so it's hard to bring all this stuff with you, but I'm really getting back into it. And did you play Cho Cho Rocket? I don't know if we played Cho Cho Rock. Have you ever heard of that game? I've never even heard of it. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. Maybe it's Choo Choo. Cho Cho Choo Choo. Is that like a Chocobo Rocket or something from uh, Final Fantasy? I don't know. Uh, that's the closest thing to Cho Cho I've heard of. I thought you didn't say you. I think you said you didn't play Final Fantasy. I didn't play Final Fantasy three. I played oh. uh, a little bit of seven and I played ten. And I tried to play thirteen, but it didn't go so well. Dude, I'm I'm I am so stoked on playing some Goldeneye. Right. <laughs> That's good. Retro games would be fun to watch. I agree, man. I mean, modern day video games are incredible. I mean, look at this. This guy is essentially in a different world for games. And, and, you know, once you get a whole team, you can do tactical things. It's like real life to some extent. But the old games just had this charm to them that was, they were so campy oh, and yeah. so, so basic, but yet, yet there was like an unlimited amount of fun you could have with them. Actually, I you think one of my again. favorite Super Nintendo game. Mm -hmm. For you? Mine? Uh, that's favorite? A, that's I don't a know. big question. I did like the uh, the old, the, there was an Aladdin game that was pretty fun, but that was not my favorite. No. <laughs> this person says, Lucas is excited. Now, everyone's talking about Halo 5, and Lucas can't stop talking about Goldeneye. Dude, <laughs> you, you understand me. You understand me, Muppet. Muppet, uh, you, you got it down. <laughs> it's just, sometimes it's so confusing. I mean, I like to just plant mines and shoot people with the PP7, you know? I'm a basic kind of person. <laughs> That's pretty basic. <laughs> oh, I was looking at you and his little head was poking above the beard. Oh, that guy's That's handsome though, huh? I don't know. He doesn't have quite as big of a beard. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't say he was handsome like me. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, going back to favorite Super Nintendo game. Uh, for me, Donkey Kong. Ooh, Donkey like Kong the, Country. The, the original Super Nintendo version that one of Donkey good. Kong. Donkey Kong that one Country. I played that one a lot. Dude, I, I, just, I could probably like, close, my, close my eyes right now and play the first level in my head. Oh, when you first went walk in, you turn around and go back. You go yeah. back upstairs yeah. and get the free life after bouncing off the yeah. tire. And then you can jump out and stay on top of the palms. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. The little red balloons. Yeah. I used to play that so much. The old, old Star, Star Wars, Wars games. Game. Do you know I played those? So when I was in, I don't know, I was probably like ninth grade, 10th grade, I went to a garage sale, which is the best way to do this. I got an SNES, 
three controllers, which means I got an extra controller, and like 20 games for $20. That's a pretty good deal, dude. Dude, it was incredible. And, uh, of course it came with, uh, like three Star Wars games that I had never played before, and I didn't even know, oh my god, Street Fighter 2? No. Blanca. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, that guy was, and Ken and Ryu. Blanca was the big green guy, right? Yeah, yeah the, with the, the big the green crazy monster, looking he was guy, like yeah, electrically yeah, yeah. charged. Dude, I can't believe we're playing some Seriously. old school games. Uh, Chrono Trigger? Trigger? I, know, you know, I, never, I, played I never played that. One either. You can tell by our reaction. We're like, yeah. huh? Star Fox was good. They had that on. Uh, Star Fox Super was Nintendo, good. Yeah. Ooh, but that was like so back in the day. Super Nintendo. That was mainly 2D, but there were some 3D games like Star bit. Fox. Yeah. And I remember you could take the cartridge out and you could tell that it was 3D because there was like a specific notch on one side oh, of the what? cartridge. I did yeah, not know and, that. and that's how. Well, now that I think about it, I haven't really looked at that since I was like 12, so yeah, that so could just be completely pretend everything wrong. You just said, that yeah, could be yeah, completely yeah. wrong, but I, I remember there being a, a notch in the side of the 3D games, but I just, I don't know, 3D wasn't quite up to yeah, the level yeah. where it was fun to play. Yeah. I, I would always switch back. I could be like, I could play this 3D Star Fox game, but yeah. the Speak Donkey Kong side roller was much easier. Oh, those were great. Yeah. Speaking of yard sales, I found at a yard sale, it was like a top, uh, top, insertion old school any you know instead of the front one where you got the little lid right it uh, was a top mount and, but nes uh, not snes just no, nes, NES. And, really? it, and it was kind of like more new looking like the super nintendo and stuff but it was an nes and uh, was it modded it, no it was they, they, they like made it. like a newer version of it right cool. and it was top no mount and uh it came with a game called album chipmunks it was pretty pretty sweet no no sorry chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. <laughs> I love how you got, yeah. you got the, chip, yeah. the sets of chipmunks you just got mixed up right there. Yep, yep. <laughs> chipmunks. Had a 3D processor in the car cartridge. Star Fox did. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a look at, at those games because I somehow remember that there was like a distinguishing feature in, mm -hmm. in inside, you know, the little blade that sticks out of the, the, the card in there. Yeah. But I could be, I could be just remembering that. Uh, as a steel, that's what I have, yeah. It was re it was the released version of the NES when NES was built. Yeah, it did. About that top mount. Yeah, uh, and NES, it also yeah. had a different control that was shaped like yeah. the Super Nintendo. It was, but it was really kind of small, and it had like the um, you know just. So the it two wasn't rectangular. It was no, more rounded. Exactly. Yeah. So that kind of took some of the fun out of it a little bit. You gotta have Dude, that rectangular. That, control, that right? is <laughs> like there are very few things that scream retro like that old school NES rectangle. People get like tattoos of that. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely an iconic image. I love All that. All right, so we should do that raffle. Oh, we should. Yeah. I get, I get, just got too excited about talking, <laughs> talking about, about retro old school games. games. Yeah, uh, if you guys, let's see, we, we've done this one time, but we're not necessarily the best at setting this Nightbot, so I got to go in here. Guys, we're about to give away three free months of game show. Yeah. So let's log in real fast. If it allows me to authorize. Alright. Join. Already in the channel, that's good. Uh, go to this one. Uh, no. I thought that was it. Nope. So you're already there, so you already joined, so now you gotta do the raffle. Yeah, so let's see. We go to giveaways. As you can tell guys, we I, are I we no are idea. still like the cool thing about game show is that it's really good if you're because you can do all these really cool things but it's also really good if you've never done it before like us like we yeah. are brand new streamers we're yep. doing this this is our third time streaming ever so we're still learning a lot of the behind the scenes stuff uh, but the nice thing is that we have to we don't have to learn game show because it's easy yeah. we have to learn Nightbot because that doesn't really make sense yep. <laughs> ooh what is that dirty it looks like somebody's butt that's kind of what I saw on that yeah. one yeah, yeah thank you for that Binary Wolf very beautiful yep. picture um Binary wolf butt. Start a giveaway with a random active user. Yeah. Random active user giveaways. Randomly select an active chatter to be the winner. Hope you guys have been chatting. Chatters are defined as users who have spoken within the last 10 minutes. Um, there's probably a delay, so I'm going to go now so you can't cheat. Ho, ho, ho. Muppet of a man. Ooh, Muppet of a man. You won, but there's a huge problem. You're not following our channel. Ah. Uh... But I'm not going to do another one. I'm going to tell you that you got to follow our channel. And then we'll give you three free months of game show. 
Ooh, we should give him like 10 seconds. If you don't follow in 10 seconds. Well, there's a delay. Again. There's a delay. Well, yeah, from there's now. Delay. But they'll hear. Yeah. All right, you got, you got, you got time. Come on, Muppet of a Man. Get yeah. on this. <laughs> there's, there's the delay, so I'm not sure if he's just like ignoring us or if I just don't know how to deal with this delay quite <laughs> yet. We gotta look at uh, the rules and stuff this. for this, you know? Duplicate shot. That's not what I want. I want to delete this shot. I wonder if you can set up the rules must be Is that right? Rigged! Pretty sure that's what you guys said last time. Trust right? me. I don't even know how to rig something like that. If I could do that, I would be really good at it. <laughs> no, nope, I can barely even make it happen, let alone rig it. All right, Muppet. Did you Muppet didn't of start man. following yet? I mean, you were seriously like the last person to comment. All right, well, we'll give him a little bit of time because he seems to be uh, not really following along. But, uh, so what was your overall record for the day? Can you, can you uh, figure that out? For the day? No. I'm just spectating right here. I'm not playing. Everyone calls rigged. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows the fact that sometimes you don't win. You know? This guy probably thinks it's rigged that he died so many times. It is, yeah. Rigged! Yeah. It's rigged, clearly. <laughs> um, sorry, I, I asked you a question. Regarding your answer. I don't remember what the question or the answer. How, how was your uh, oh. your total total kills and losses? Can you figure that out? You know, for the, I see it for on a per match basis. So. Reroll. I don't mind. All right. Fine. Reroll. Whatever. So we're doing it again. Start a new giveaway. Start giveaway. And binary wolf. Hey, binary wolf. Rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> rigged binary wolf. It's always rigged. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm glad. I'm glad that we. Uh, you know what it was? It was that really foul picture you posted. Ah, uh, the butt did it. Yeah, the butt. Did the binary it. wolf butt. Congrats, binary wolf. <laughs> All right. So uh, go ahead and send us a message with your email address, and uh, we'll yes. go ahead and get that on over to you. I'll make good use of it. Absolutely. Uh, actually, I would love to see you making good use of it. Uh, and guys, if you ever want to see. Uh, binary wolf stream. I assume you can just click on his name right there. Yeah. And uh, he's just one. He's a, okay. All right, Muppet of a man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, go ahead and send uh, Game Show Live on Twitch a message, and we'll uh, we'll get you a code here pretty soon. I have to uh, make up some new ones to get out to you, so it could be sometime this afternoon. But I'll get it for you. Um, but I think we, guys, we're gonna sign off. Tune in next week, same time. I think we're going to do the uh, the Mac with bringing in an iPad game. There's this game called Monument Valley, which is it's like one game of the year, and it's extremely beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be pretty sweet. And we're going to try and, and get as far as we can in that. It's kind of like a puzzle. So we'll be using our, our combined intellectual powers to get through that game. Yeah, I've never played it. I'm excited for that. I haven't one. either. I've so. heard a lot of reviews about it. It's pretty good. It's just so beautiful. I watched a couple of videos of it. It looks really good. All right, but guys, we're leaving. Thank you very much for coming by, and trust me, we're going to be playing some retro oh, yeah. that's where that's where my soul lies. So with that, guys, thanks for showing up to the Game Show Show. We will see you all next week. See you later.